Hey YouTubers, today I wanted to talk about uh, one of these big old rear screen projection TVs. Uh, maybe you've got one down in your basement, or maybe like me, <laughs> you've picked one up for free. These things, you see these things in Craigslist all the time now. People are giving them away. Um, they're not worth much anymore, and they're getting pretty old. It's getting to be pretty old technology. Um, but So maybe you've grabbed one of these, and you found that the picture's not too bad. But as you get farther out into the edges, you get these shadows. It's, a, it's the color shadow. Um, and what that is, is it's the uh, convergence um, of the three color guns. That's how these TVs work. There's three color guns in there, red, green, and blue. And, and they, they line up to give you a nice clear picture. And as you get farther away from the center, and you get these color shadows, that's because you're guns are off or your convergence. They call it convergence. So so especially like me, if you've gotten this TV for free um, and, and you're finding, you know, you see these shadows and you, and you might want to try to see if you can make it better. Maybe you didn't get the manual for it um, or, or maybe you did. I was lucky enough to get the manual for this this beast when I picked it up and um, I've had it for a few years and I, and I thought, well, I should maybe see if I can improve the picture and sure enough, there is a easy feature on this on this TV, and it's a button down here by the RCA jacks behind a little panel called Magic Focus. And um, we're going to try that right now and see if we can improve the image. The key to using the Magic Focus button is to warm the TV up for at least 20 minutes. Turn it on and let it warm up for at least 20 minutes. And then it's just a matter of pressing the button and uh, and let's see if it realigns or improves our convergence of the three color guns. So I pressed a button once and you can see it's gone into magic focus mode and uh, it's realigning our three our three color guns. Um, the other thing that I think could throw these things out of alignment is just moving it as well. Um, you know, I threw this in the back of an old trailer and hauled it over here and, uh, and it was pretty good the first time I fired it up. Now, the, the area on this image here where I could really see the shadow was right here where I had the white on the green. And that seems to improve a little bit. Let, let's look at a closer look at that and, and compare it side by side. Yeah, so I think we got a little bit of improvement out of that. Um, what you'll notice with these um, is that the picture will be better in the center of the screen, which you, you'd expect. And as you get farther out to the edges, that's where you can really see um, some of these color shadows you know, in the sharp lines, you know, of the printing. If you have any printing, it'll really jump out as you get farther out to the edges. But the center portion of the screen's actually not too bad for an old uh, an old TV like this, uh, for free. It, like I said, it was a free TV. Um, but there is one more, uh, chances are with your TV, especially if you can find the manual, or if you go online, you might find somebody with that particular model that can help you out. There, there could be one more feature that you can try to improve your image, and that uh, is fine-tuning your convergence using your remote control. I've never done this before because I wanted to do it. Um, I wanted, I wanted to do it the first time. I wanted to do it on camera, so I could actually show you uh, to see if we could actually improve the picture. It's going to be. Um, Menu and um, setup. Magic focus tune up right there. Okay, there's our crosshatch, and um, so as you, you can see, the center portion, the center portion is actually pretty good. 
but just as you get away from the center, you start getting that shadow. So let's see if we can improve that. Like I said, I've never done this before, so I'll do some editing here if I have to, but I've never done it, so let's see what happens here. On this model here, what you do is by hitting the select button on the remote control, you can see the middle cursor will change color. So then you've selected the red gun there, and you selected the blue, back to the white. Uh, green is your primary, and, and what you're doing is you're adjusting the green. So my blue looks pretty good, and what I'm going to try to do is improve my red. And it's, it's really a trial and error. You fool around with the remote, remote control. Try not, you know, you're going to try to adjust it. Maybe try to make, you know, line these, line these colors up better and um, try to improve it. Let's see if we can make this any better. I wasn't able to really fix this quadrant over here. It's maybe a little bit better than it was when I started. It's a trial and error thing. If your picture is really bad, you know, if you have really big shadows and uh, this process doesn't help you, your, your next, that's pretty much it for the adjustments that I've, in my research that I found that you can do. After that, you're pretty much looking at replacing the uh, actual convergence. There's two convergence uh, modules inside the television that control the three guns. There's YouTube videos that show you exactly how to do it. And if you're if you're handy with fine soldering and and uh, that type of thing, it, it's not that complicated. You could probably do it. But then again, this is um, 2018, and these things are getting pretty old. Is it really worth fixing them if if um, if the picture's that bad, especially if you picked it up for free? But but anyway, it's worth a try. Uh, like I said, I think I've improved my image a little bit, and uh, and it was a free TV. I just have it out here in my studio. I don't use it that much. I put it on for a hockey game or a football game and have a couple of buddies over and, and uh, you know, it's not our everyday TV. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that helps. Uh, check out my channel. I've, I've got a whole series on professional video production as well as some consumer TV tips. Um, I've got a whole series of documentary programming on featuring mostly Vancouver Island that I've produced as, as well as other how-to videos. So uh, check my stuff out, I'd appreciate it. And if you are looking around my channel, don't forget to check out my sponsors. You don't have to buy anything, but I don't make, it, I don't make any money if you don't click on the ads. So click on those ads and, uh, and you'll support me. Thanks for watching. See you next time.